My name is Christopher Gomez. I'm a professor of neurology at the University of Chicago and director of the Ataxia Clinic. And we are here uh, to begin a two-day conference. And the goal of this conference is to launch a collaborative effort uh, between multiple countries in the Latin American world and the US to link together the strong researchers and clinical neurologists in uh, many countries in South America, Central America, and the US to show how we can exchange data between multiple sites and make it useful for the common uh, understanding of ataxia. This was a wonderful meeting. It was probably the first one that put together people, e people or investigators interested in ataxia in the Americas. And because of this new knowledge maybe that we can perform by comparing our results, the, the trials will be better suited, better designed. I think that uh, we are really entering a new phase uh, of ataxia research. We are very close to clinical trials and the clinical trials will then hopefully lead to effective therapies. And this meeting here in Cuba is one step towards uh, this goal and I'm very grateful to the people who made this meeting possible and I'm enjoying my time here in Havana. It's uh, really amazing to get in touch uh, with the Cuban scientists and researchers who are really, uh, really doing great uh, work here. We are starting a new state in the ataxia research, the study in preclinical state when the neurodegeneration is not starting or is not so important if we can start with the clinical intervention before ataxia onset, we can uh, slow down the disease progression, we can uh, stop the aid at onset of the disease. We're now reaching a point where treatments are close to become uh, available for these patients. This first Pan American ataxic meeting is certainly a, an important step. I definitely believe that this is going to foster collaboration between different centers. And for us, in Latin America, this is going to be really, really helpful. We should use this example for the next conference. So I think this is a great opportunity to integrate people to do uh, something with more available, more scientific available, and also academic. People are having a lot of discussion about the uh, issues that may come up in the collaboration by making connections, making friendship, we can better uh, together study ataxia. I'm thrilled to be here and to meet researchers that I know so far only from their literature so that they can start talking about how they can initiate collaborations and combine their forces to um, tackle ataxias and move towards therapies. I think the main goal of this Pan-American Ataxia meeting is sometimes you, you know the name, but you don't really know the person. And in this meeting, it's nice to finally meet with this researcher that you have been reading a lot, have dinner with him, chat. When you are talking to a person, uh, you can see how they behave and how they react to your ideas. Well, if you just sent an email, probably you don't know. Uh, maybe these guys are thinking that I'm crazy or whatever. I think one thing that has been really interesting is seeing the different style of presentations. Some of the people are kind of more of the basic research, and then the meeting at the end was more of a clinician's perspective. So I think it's just been a great diversity of presentations and um, connections made. Well, I came to this meeting uh, for one major reason. I think it's really important that we collaborate across universities and across countries for these diseases. Why? They're rare diseases. Any one doctor is seeing relatively few people, but to really solve these diseases, we need to work together. So that's the reason I came here, to meet with scientists from Cuba, from Mexico, from Brazil, from Europe and the United States. It, is, it has been a fantastic meeting. I've really enjoyed it. At this meeting, I've developed a lot of uh, enthusiasm and excitement for the use of the technology that I've helped develop for the use in ataxia. This is absolutely fantastic. So this is really a very important step. There is no doubt about fruitful outcome of this collaboration. I think it is very important to have this meeting and continue to have this meeting.